hello everyone welcome to my channel quantum ideas so today we will be solving some of the problems uh, related to rates and this is one of the very important problem in digital set so let's get started so let me give you some ideas first okay so to solve the rate problems uh, you can solve by one is uh, common sense or you can use your logic another is you can use unitary method okay and there is uh, another method you can use is some um, proportion okay direct proportion formula you can use and mostly we also you can be use dart formula d is equals to rt okay so i will uh, give you some example of this uh, method so let's get started so let's go to number one okay team's diet plan calls for 60 gram of proteins per day if team were to meet this requirement by only eating a certain protein bar that contains 13 grams of protein, how many protein bar will he have to buy to last a week? Okay, the question is asking, uh, team's diet plan calls for 60 gram of protein per day. So he, have, uh, he has to eat uh, 60 gram of uh, protein per day, okay? And he takes the bar uh, each bar will weight like 30 grams of protein then how many protein bars will he have to buy to last a week so to uh, make his uh, diet plan complete so how many protein bar should he take to last a week okay so let's approach this uh, problem firstly with let's say logic and then we are going with this uh, d equal to rt okay tart formula so let's see uh, team must uh, eat what uh, okay he must take 60 gram of protein per day slash days per day okay so he must take 60 gram of protein per day and one protein bar okay one protein bar will equals to 13 gram and he have to take what 60 gram a day means what one uh, bar will 30 gram two bar will be 60 grams so he have to take two bar per day okay he must take two bar of protein per day now he have to take for like a week so one week is equal to how many days uh, seven days and how much he take per day two bars per day that is in seven day he will take seven into two bars and that is 14 bars okay so he have to take 14 bars to last for a week so our 14 is 14 bar is your answer okay so the, how we did it we just did it logically okay so uh, if you are very comfortable with this you can go with this okay this is much more faster so sorry so let's go to next uh, method let me use dart formula okay and that is very important formula in red so d is equal to rt okay so this d is actually a quantity let's say any quantity and this r is rate and this t is time and this rate is uh, this quantity this quantity let's say q per this given time okay you can write the rate in term of quantity per time okay so what is our quantity here our quantity here is gram okay so we have what gram is our quantity and rate will be and uh, time is in what day right right and rate will be in gram per day okay so gram per day this is our formula okay so let's solve it so what is the rate the rate for the team is 60 gram per day right right now if team were to eat this second by eating a certain protein but that contains 30 gram of proteins okay so quantity is equals to rate into time first of all let's see how much quantity he uh, required to eat okay so what is rate is 60 gram per day and he have to eat for what time is what last a week that is seven days so this six is 420 gram so he have to is what 420 gram so to find the number of bars so number of bars will be total how much you have to eat 420 gram and what is the weight of one bar that is equals 30 so there is gone so this is equals to 14 bars okay you can also solve like this first of all find the total quantity he must it and divide it by the uh, single quantity single bar gram okay then you will get the total okay let's go to number two 
An empty pool can be filled in 5 hours if water is pumped in at 300 gallons an hour. How many hours will it take to fill the pool if water is pumped in at 500 gallon an hour? Okay. So let's see first we have given uh, time is equal to 5 hour and it's pumped at 300 gallons per hour. So this is the rate, right? Rate is pumping rate is uh, 300 gallon per hour. So what we can find from here, we can find the can quantity and quantity will be in gallon. So quantity is equal to RT. So how much it will pump? 300 gallon per hour into 5, right? This is 5, 3 is 1500 gallon. So this is the quantity to be pumped. Now, how many hours will it to, uh, take to fill the pool if water is pumped at 500 gallons an hour? Now it is asking us what? Uh, the time to fill the pool if the rate, this is a new rate, right? Uh, rate is what? 500 gallon per hour. Okay, so we have the quantity to, uh, to be pumped here. We have the rate. Now we can find the time. Again, use the formula. Quantity equal to RT. So how much quantity? 500 gallon, right? Yeah. So 500 uh, is equals to, what is R? Rate is 500 gallon per hour into time. Uh, so time will equal to this go to that side that will divide right 500 div uh, 1500 divided by 500 so 0 0 gone 0 0 gone this is 3 hour so our answer is 3 hour okay so let's go to number 3 okay Amy buys D dollars worth of groceries each week and spend of a fourth of this dollar on fruit in term of D how many weeks will it take Amy to spend a total of hundred dollars just on fruit? So, it is talking about fruit. Okay. So, see here, Amy spent D dollar on grocery each week. Okay. Then we can say, uh, and spend a fourth of this dollar on fruit. Okay. She so spend what? Spend a fourth of this dollar on fruit. Okay. So, on fruit, she spends uh, D by four dollar. Okay. Hmm. So in term of the how many weeks it will take Amy to spend total of hundred dollars. So in this case we can also use unitary method, but let's go with the proportion method. Okay, and what proportion method says is uh, that uh, if uh, a quantity, let's say, if the quantity, let's say, quantity of fruits, and we have okay, week, if the number of week increases then uh, the cost of uh, purchasing the fruits also increases so they are directly proportional so let's use this method okay this will be much more effective here so let's write here um, cost of fruit okay this is the cost of fruit and this is the week number of week okay so in one week she will spend d by four dollar right right so in x week let's say in x week she is going to spend let's say 100 dollar so if they are in proportional we can uh, write d over 4 over 100 is equal to 1 over x if they are uh, directly proportional as the number of week increases cost also increases right that's why you can write what this over this is equal to this over this okay now this 100 goes to up so this becomes let me write here sorry uh, let me write here so 100 no there is one so if you see here this fraction there is something uh, below 100 that is one so one goes to top i mean uh, a numerator 100 go to denominator so this is becomes d over 4 into 100 equals to 1 by x this equals d over 400 equals to 1 by x now we have to find the x just uh, flip this and thus flip this this becomes 400 over d is equals to x so this is our answer so a is our answer that is 400 over d okay you can also use unitary method so let's go to number four linda can type 900 words in 2.5 minutes how many words she can type in 12 minutes so we can see here uh, as the number uh, of uh, that's as the time increases uh the number of words also increases right that's why we can also write here words like this and we can write uh time here like this 
so she can type 900 words in 2.5 minutes how many words she can type 12 minutes that means let's say uh, here let's set this as x words she can type in 12 minutes since uh, they are they are indirectly proportional so you can use uh, 900 over x is equals to 2.5 over 12 okay so let's cross multiply this uh, 900 into 12 will be equals to 2.5 of x therefore x will be equals to 900 into 12 2.4 go to that that side so this is uh, 900 into 12 divided over 2.5 this will give you 4320 okay this is the number of words a uh, second type in 12 minutes okay so let's go to number five so we have given some units one fluid ounce is equals to 2.9 millimeters one cup is equals to 16 fluid ounces a chemistry teacher is planning to run a class experiment in which each student must measure out 100 uh, milliliters of vinegar in a graduated cylinder okay so this is a constraint means each student must measure 100 ml of vinegars no problem the class is limited to using to six cup of vinegar they can only use six cup of vinegars okay they have to measure 100 each student must measure 100 uh, ml of vinegar and they are limited using only six cup of vinegar given the information above what is the maximum number of students who will be able to participate in the experiment so we have to find the maximum number of students who will be participate in the experiment so what we can say that is that to find the maximum number of student we have to find out okay uh, total uh, vinegar they can use okay they can use divided by uh, vinegar vinegar uh, that each student must must measure okay so the class is limited using only six cup of vinegar so means six cup of vinegar six okay one cup is equal to 16 fluid ounces so six will equal to six into 16 fluid ounces and one fluid ounces is 29.6 that is 29.6 so we changed it into millimeters okay so six cup will be equal to 16 into 29.6 ml divided by how much a student uh, can measure or how much the student must measure is 100 ml divided by 100 ml so this will be let me write here let me use calculator 6 into 16 into 29.6 divided over 100 so this is uh, 28.416 since it is a number of people we can uh, just ignore this part okay this part is ignored so it will give you 28 students so maximum 21 students uh, can what a measure okay measure and they can be a part they can only participate in the given experiment okay so this of uh, this type of question are also very common basically okay so let's go to number six and this is not actually mostly uh, related to actually uh, rates okay it's like a maximum and minimal uh, maximum or minimal value type of problem okay let's go to number six a printer produces poster at a constant rate of 42 posters per minute at what rate in poster per hour does the printer produce the poster so we have given rate is equals to 42 posters per minute at what rate is the poster per hour in poster per hour so we have given the rate in term of uh, 42 poster per minute but we have to find the rate in poster per hour so we have to change this minute into hour so let's see we know one hour is equals to one minute right and sorry one hour is equals to 60 minutes right and we can say one hour is equal to 60 into one is 60 right one minute so what is one minute if 60 go to that side this is one by 60 hour so one minute is 60 hours so we have given here the rate is 42 poster per hour that is 42 
post sorry 42 poster per minute like this so this is one minute right so 42 poster per one minute one minute is one by 60 hour now 60 go to upside so this becomes 42 into 60 poster per hour use calculator so 42 into 60 sorry 42 into 60 is equals to uh, 2520 okay this equals to 2520 poster per hour so we converted 42 poster per hour into uh, poster per sorry poster per what minute into poster per hour so our uh, new rate is 2520 2520 poster per hour okay so thank you for watching guys uh, if you like my video then press that like button share and subscribe uh, thank you for watching see you bye bye